Hi everyone, welcome back to Toys TV, our studio here where we're making Pixar Cars Customs. If this is your first time here, you've seen some crazy things before. These are all the cars we painted out of the Pixar Cars. We have RV, which is made out of Fillmore. We have fabulous uh, Cruiser Mirrors in honor of Doc Hudson. Zebra, Smokey. And this is retired leakless, and this is one of my favorites. It's not a custom, but it's fabulous Lightning McQueen. And we have some rainbow cars. We have Rainbow the King, Rainbow Fillmore we just made yesterday, and Rainbow Cruiser Mirrors. And today we're going to make leakless into next gen leakless using Danny Swervez. Now I've been practicing here on some paint to get the right color. So what I'm going to do, guys, first thing I'm going to do is take Danny, Danny Swervez, brand new and I'm gonna paint him primer gray to get him ready for the paint and then I'll mix up the right color here. So, we'll be right back and put the primer on Danny Square Vest. Okay, we're back, we're all set to go. It's a real shame to paint that beautiful Danny Square Vest. It's a beautiful looking car. But here's my primer, and a blob of it here. The hardest part of this job is gonna be matching the paint to leak this for the, for the yellowish green color. So here's this brand new car right out of the package. I'm gonna try and leave the wheels alone. I'm not gonna get them covered up at all. So I'm going to leave them exactly like that. They might be a little different than um, the uh, next gen leakless, but there is no next gen leakless in reality, I don't think, because I didn't see anything on YouTube that was actually real or anything uh, in the stores that actually showed next gen leakless. So I'm just going to make my own version of it. I saw a couple of pictures on the internet of people's idea what they'd make it look like. So I'm going to do my own. I'm going to paint it all gray first, primer uh, leakless, and then I'm going to paint it all yellowish green and then I might paint the black and the roof black and white sides on the doors and number 52 on the roof and I'm gonna try and write his name on the angels that's always a hard part is writing the names. and listen guys thanks very much for watching our videos we really appreciate it and you guys um, are really helping my channel by watching the videos all the way through I know they're long but some of you like them and I really appreciate that because it helps my channel grow. The longer you watch a video, believe it or not, it helps the channel. So stay tuned and I'll try my best to, to talk a little bit through it. If you want me to just put fast forward it and not talk, that would be one way to do it, but it wouldn't be a very long video. And wow, this car is beautiful. Danny's Revez, he's awesome. Um, are you guys all excited about Cars 4? I know there's been no announcement of it, but I can pretty much guarantee there's going to be a Cars 4. And here's the reason. Um, I think Cars 4 is gonna be a reality because uh, Disney spent hundreds of millions of dollars making Cars Land in California and in Florida. So you have to know that they wouldn't do that if they thought the franchise was going to be short-lived. So this Cars, even the movie itself, the that you can make a TV show, a weekly show about Mater's Tall Tales. They're all over the internet. You can watch Mater's Tall Tales all kinds of times. There's tons in there. Plus there's so many people like myself making videos of cars that, you know, Disney could just come in and say, hey, can we have your ideas? Sure. And make another year's supply of cartoons based on it. I see one guy, he makes his own beautiful videos. Um, he could work for Disney. He's over in another part of the world. Zany TV, I think. He's awesome. And his videos are quality you'd see at Disney. Gee, it's amazing. Actually, you can look up in my corner there and you might find his video recommended. Yeah, he's really good. And all I can do, all I do is make stories up. And um, I started painting these cars last September, which is over a year ago now. Way back in September, I made the first Primer Lightning McQueen. If you watch my videos, all kinds of them, you saw my first Primer McQueen was actually made with Lightning McQueen covered with Play-Doh. And it was only one day I was out in my garage. Actually, that, that video did pretty good. Play-Doh covered Lightning McQueen, turn it gray. I was out in the garage and I saw a can of gray spray paint. And I said to myself, wouldn't it be neat if I spray painted Lightning McQueen? So I taped off the eyes and the windows and I spray painted them. And that was really popular. I still got that car. He's in a box somewhere. I put all the cars away for a while to clean up. But I can dig it out later in the next segment here. I'll show you the car. And the car came really nice and it got really popular. That was my first one. And then everyone kept saying, paint, paint Mater primer, paint Mater this. And then it was paint everybody. And all of a sudden I was making demolition derby cars. And what are they called? All these crazy eight cars from Cars 3. I got over a hundred and maybe 200 videos now of Pixar Cars Customs. I actually wanted to create a line of cars called Pixar Cars Customs that you could buy. They'd be all primer gray and you could paint them 
the colors you'd like. And I got a few people painting cars already, which is great. Every so often they send me a message saying I painted a certain car. And there is Primer Next Gen Leakless. That came really nice. Can't beat that, look at it. I'll zoom in so you can get a better look. Primer Next Gen Leakless. Now this is gonna be, when I put that yellow paint on, it's really going to show off the colors. And then I'll put the black stripe across here, the black in the back, and a white side. So let's get that dry, and we'll come back in a little while with the first coat of bright yellowish green paint. Okay, we're back. The primer's dry on Danny Suarez. I'm gonna mix up the color and look for that particular color there. So I put some green with some yellow. Let's see how close we are. Well, that was a bit more work than I expected. Actually, I should've just put yellow down and added some green to it. Instead, I put the green first and added yellow to it. So let's try, I may have to put two coats on. Lucky I mixed up lots of paint, so I wanna get this here. Oh, that's pretty darn close. Yes, I have to admit, that was worth it. I did a good job with that color. So the second coat's gonna really bring it out. And I'm gonna put, definitely gonna put two coats on it. Um, I'm just gonna speed ahead, guys, to get this on quick so I don't bore you with my, my talk here. Did you guys just see what happened? The paint rolled over in the paint. I had to remove most of the paint on the side here, but I had a chance to clean the paint off the window too, so I didn't want to get any there. So that worked out pretty good, even though I wasn't expecting it to fall over like that, upside down in the paint. So once this here dries, I'll definitely put another coat on it. I want to put the painting on camera a little bit better so I turned it upside down against the other car and it fell right over. Okay now I'm just going to do the roof. I'm going to try and hold that like this so you can see what I'm doing here. And now the eyes. Okay we'll leave that first coat dry. I'll come back in a few minutes put the second coat on. And then we'll start putting the, the black on the white. All right, the first coat dried really well, and the second coat's really gonna bring out the color of this beautiful leaf. This is gonna be a keeper, which means I won't be painting it anything else. I'm just gonna get this color on this car and put some black in the back, some white on the sides, and the number 52 on the roof and the engine hood, if I can get it all done. It's gonna be definitely gonna be a keeper for I'm gonna start making cars for videos pretty soon. My own theories of what's going to happen. I got a few ideas already up there. You guys probably saw the videos of my Cars for Predictions. If you haven't seen them, there's just the keywords. Look up Cars for Predictions Toys TV, and you'll probably see them all there. One that I think Lightning is going to be the crew chief for a cruise and mirrors. She's going to be the star of the movie. Possibly. But what about Mater? Mater wasn't much a, a big a part of Cars 3 as he was in Cars 2, but Doc for some reason was the star of Cars 2 because he was the one that encouraged uh, Lightning to try harder and got Cruz into the racing. Cruz was supposed to be Lightning's trainer. Remember that? And all of a sudden she became the hero when she beat Jackson Storm over the finish line. That was quite the turn of events. Couldn't see that coming. But Cars 3 was a great movie and I expected it would do well as long as it had emotions if you, it made you sad and happy it was a good movie and Cars 3 definitely had a lot of scenes that were sad and made you happy remember that scene where lightning not lightning where Doc Hudson jumped over uh, Louise Nash it was a flashback to the old days well I made Louise Nash out of Doc Hudson a car just like it and that turned out really well one of my favorite videos so far 
one of my favorite cars. I got all those cars put away now. All those Pixar Cars Customs. Now I want to tell you something. They picked the term Pixar Cars Customs. I started using that a long time ago and it's on almost every one of my videos I've made since last year. So if you were to go, go to Google, I mean YouTube, and punch in Pixar Cars Customs, you will see most of my videos will show up right, right away. So if you want to do that sometime, just punch in Pixar Cars Customs and you can watch lots of these cars being made. You can pick the ones you want. They're all on playlists and they're all standalone too, so you can pick the ones you want to watch. So they came pretty good. That was one of my ideas was to get my own separate playlist that anybody could Google just Pixar Cars Customs and get all these custom cars. And somebody asked me yesterday if I was selling them on eBay. I, I put them on eBay for a while, but then I took them off. I didn't really want to sell them because I want to keep the cars. It's not worth it to me to sell them like for a few dollars each and um, get a few dollars and that'll be it. So I'm just going to leave them um, separate for now and keep them on a pile. Now there is Leakless ready for his paint job to turn into next gen Leakless. Okay, we're back to put the finishing touches on Leakless. I got some white here. I'm gonna put a smile on his face right now. I don't really smile. There is a white line on Leakless's mouth here. So I'm just gonna fill that in with this nice brush to give us a personality. And there's also a lot of white on the doors. Okay, I got another brush for doing that. I'm gonna use a regular brush for putting white from the bottom. I'm going to probably start right here, leave a little bit of green at the bottom right there and go across and kind of goes up the side. I'm going to try and make it almost like leakless. It's right up the side here. And I'll fill that whole thing in with white because 52 has to go in the middle. Okay, that's pretty cool. And then it goes right over the top and stops right behind the back window, okay? So the rest of that is gonna be black back there. It's gonna look pretty good. I just put my finger into the black paint. I'll show you that in a second. There's black down here too. Okay, so I'm just gonna go up here, right across to the window, and stop right there. And let's see, it goes right down, yeah, it goes right down to the bottom of the window. Okay, so went off camera for a second and filled the black line in along there. So now I'm gonna turn it around to the other side. Okay, let's turn that around and see if it matches. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna start on the back uh, right here where I did last time. I wanna leave a little bit of triangle at the bottom below there, green, and go right up to just right about here. And then fill that whole section in right to the bottom and go back up to the window. Perfect. Fill this whole thing in back here white because that's gonna be black back there. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna do uh, a black, well, actually, there's a box on top of the car, a roof. It's all white, and then it's on kind of a, a rectangle on kind of an angle. So I'm gonna try and draw rectangle right here. Number 52 has to go inside of it. It's a different size box, different size roof than the original Leakless, so I'll have to make a different size box. There, and in the middle here, there's a white box on the, the engine hood that uh, is written in Leakless, but it's surrounded by black. So I'm gonna build a nice rectangle here for Leakless to be written in with a very fine brush. That's gonna be very hard. So probably make it a little bit bigger. Okay, that looks pretty good. And square this box up. Best again. Okay, there's the white. And next to be the black. So I better leave that dry for a little bit. And then I'll come back and put the black on. So far it's looking pretty good. I went off camera a few minutes ago and wrote leakless in the white. Now I'm gonna put his eyes on. Not his eyes, his uh, headlights. I'm gonna try and make some really cool headlights on leakless. You start up here. Right down across, just like that, on one side, and I'll try to do the exact same on the other side. Beautiful, and I will have a nice black grill right here in the front to get the air in to cool the engine off. These next-gen engines use a lot of power; they can be cooled a lot too.
I'd love to paint this boiler down here black. Might not even be that way, but I like to see this boiler black down here. That gives the car ground effects. Pushes down close to the ground so it goes faster on the turns. That's what the ground effects means. Okay, that looks really good. Whoa, that's good. Now I gotta paint a black line right, actually it goes right across here. Okay, that looks good. Now the whole back is black, so I'm going to hold it by the top and the bottom. I'm going to paint the entire back of this car black, including the spoiler. Okay, now I want to write uh, Actually, there's a black blob on each door with number 52 inside of it. So I think the same is on the top too. So I'm going to try and make a, some sort of a black bubble on top here. Now when, number, when I come back, I'll write the number 52 here, here, and on the other side. Okay, we're down to the finishing touches here. I'm going to write number 52 in the door in white. If I can do a nice job of it, that'd be really nice. It's an exact same number. Now, I'm not sure what number in Cars 4 leaked this is going to be. I presume it'll be 52 again. Wow, look at that. Came good. 52, perfect. Now, the top might be a little harder because I need a, a thinner thinner number five too. I'll use a different brush, see what happens there. Okay, here goes, 52 in small numbers. 52, barely legible. Okay, now I'll turn it over and try it on the side. I've lots more room here. See if I can get 52 written on the side. Wow, 52. Well guys, I have to admit, I'm not even gonna do any more to that. I like that. There is next gen leakless, next to regular leakless from cars. And I think it looks pretty good. Let's clean up the mess here and get some uh, final shot and get some pictures. All right, I have to admit it came pretty good. Here's regular leakless from cars one and two. And here's next gen leakless from cars three and four. Claude Shrugs, somebody said his name is. That came pretty good. And here's my retired leakless with the green wheels. And I had a paint over his eyes and everything on that one. But uh, what do you think? Would you give me a thumbs up for that? Or hit the like button or something or leave a comment. Give me a comment or a suggestion. I got it. I think that came pretty darn good. And he joins all the rest of our Pixar Cars Customs back here with our Grinch. Oh yeah, I mentioned I was going to make Grinch uh, Mater. So I might do that in the next few videos. Grinch Mater, that came really good. I love the look of them. And all the other cars are over here. We even had the big, big um, cruiser mirrors. And there's the car I promised to show you. The original car back in September. This is uh, 2017. This is Primer Lightning McQueen, the car that started it all. Next to their Smokey. He was Doc's trainer in Cars 3 and uh, race team Fillmore and there's the Apple car with Lightning McQueen and I think I have the next gen Apple car right here. Okay guys thanks for watching and um, leave a comment. Have a great day.